like to uh, set up the uh, Adobe, I mean the Excel, and show you how to create a, uh, a spreadsheet for the account. So uh, let's start off. Uh, click on Excel. Go to bring it up. And the first thing I'm going to do is uh, this first column, first row. I'm going to increase that row. So I'm going to go to row height. 0.5. Here, I'm just going to do uh, formatting here. So as I do this, one, two. That should be enough to do five. All we're going to do is uh, I'm going to format them, and you can format them once you highlight them. So I'm going to make them bold. I'm going to make it uh, a line in the middle, and also center. So now, when I go to each box, I go automatically to start typing. Date. I'm going to increase the size of these guys. So I'm going to do a column width. So here I'm going to do uh, 1.5, which should be wide enough. Do the next one. Also 1.5. I do these as well as uh, 1.2, 1.2, and this guy is 1.2, 1 1.2. 1 .2. Okay, so we'll fill out the rest and call this uh, debit, so on credit. Do descriptions here. Accounts. Just do uh, debit accounts. Credit account. Which makes it easy. All right, so now that I have that, I want to make my uh, debit column from here to about, so it'll do 20. So I want to make these numbers. So in order for me to make these numbers, you go here where it says number. Go to general, um, the down button, you do accounting, and the, and the currency, you can pick the currency you want. So I'll do uh, US uh, dollars, and I'll do the same here for uh, credits up to uh, 20, and then we'll repeat the process. Accounting, US dollars. And here, um, what I want to do for these, uh, I want to make lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these up to 20. And I want to create lines. So I'm going to do this board options. So I want one at the top. And then I want. In the bottom, and I want all the sides so that covers it. Hit OK, and as you can see, it means it made all the lines, which is not exactly finished because I would like to cover 
the box is here. So let me go back here. And then I'm gonna put the bottom line there and that will cover that. Okay. So here, I can actually set up this column for dates. So if I wanted to, I could just highlight that, type, we do date. So we all know those are dates, right? And then we're good. So now, if I can just write some entries, today being February 20th, I can go, uh, Or I could scroll it to zero two twenty. Two zero two twenty two fifteen. So I'll call this uh call this capital capital count let me say uh, fifty thousand as you can see it's for a formatted debit account we could do uh, Uh, purchases or inventory that's going to be a debit account so I'll put that as uh, 30,000 for the inventory What I can do too, this last uh, couple of lines, I can go like this, and then I can make this uh, totals. As you can see here, I can make that total, and I can do the same for this. I'll just speed up the process a little bit. Let's go like this, hit totals, make it much faster. And then I need to finish uh, the lines missing, so I'm going to fix that. That border, the border there. And then I'm going to put a border here. So that covers the boxes. And then you have the double line indicating the total. So if I'm going to add total, what I can do, I can just hit uh, the equal sign and I can just do sum, right? So it's sum, and I can say what I want to do to sum up. And I can go from here to here. This. Matter of fact, it's an easier way of doing it. You can actually hit sum, and it will do the sum. It's smart enough to know to do the whole column. And then when I hit enter, you'll see the total. Same thing here. I'm gonna hit the summation sign for total, and then it covers everything in the column. Right, so so you'll know what your total debits and your credits are. 
So I'm going to say uh, another account. Make that a credit account. Uh, make this account uh, accounts payable. Make that credit. And so we have accounts payable 15,000. As you can see, it adds, it adds it up automatically in the totals. So I'm going to continue with the debit and credit accounts. Let's say uh, let's auto. This is an asset account. Let me say automobile is worth uh, $9,500. And adds that up. And we're going to do uh, cash, which is another asset. Let's say $5,500 cash on hand. Uh, loans payable which is a uh, credit I'm going to make that uh, $7,000 as you can see it adds up the totals as we go along and another feature that you can do to make it easy if you just want to set up uh, you know, different boxes so you know you're you can make these gray and say you know all my debit accounts I want it gray grayed out so um, you could you could pick you could pick a color here say uh, you could do a fill Down. Oops. That's the wrong thing. Down. Yep. Right here. Make this like a, a grayish color. So let's say accent. Uh, like this. And do the same thing. On this side, here, accent there. Uh, I need to fill the lines again. And then, as I showed you, as you do that, you can go here. You need to say, okay, which So I'm gonna put my eyes here, and you can do the same here. The center line I'm looking for. It's the top. There we go. As you can see, I filled, filled it. And that's all I need to do with the rest as well. Continue doing that. Just like that. Same here. Keep it consistent. And I'll do the same thing on the credits. Here. It's uh, horizontal. So if I want to take away any uh, the grid lines, I want to see the layout. So I can take that out, grid lines out, and this is what it will look like. So uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put this back, that back. I'm 
And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert. There we go. And I'm also going to insert here. And give it some space a little bit so you can actually see it. So I'm going to go like this, go like this. This is what it looks like in the standalone once you print it out. And that's the format. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you just wanted to do a quick, uh, you know, if you, you're doing uh, just regular accounting class and just wanted to do a quick uh, spreadsheet, this is the way you would do it. And that, that'll be it. I hope, hope you enjoyed the video.